much about regular people, say amen, because they feel me up and down. But one thing I know about God is that his promises are yea and amen. So whatever he says, he's God enough to bring it to pass. Mine is Eric, say amen. He's God enough to bring it to pass. Mine is my own ability. If he said it, he's going to bring it to pass. Give God some praise. for this week. Glory to Jesus. Whatever I do, I can't fail. Hallelujah. Glory. I failed too much in the past. Can't fail this time. Say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes, glory to Jesus, before we get to the finish line, sometimes we just need a pep talk. So I just want to give you a pep talk today that you're not going to fail. You're not going to fail. You're not going to fail. gotta walk in, you just gotta walk in, you just gotta walk in. I want to give you a pep talk today to let you know it's impossible. Like God is taking failure out of your vocabulary. He's taking failure out of your whole being. I will not fail. Glory to Jesus. I remember, glory to Jesus, it was about the 10th grade of school, and I was getting, you know, I was just doing whatever, glory to Jesus. I was getting all of these bad grades, say amen. And I remember, glory to Jesus, I changed my report card. Thank you, Valerie. Say amen, glory to Jesus. I changed my report card. But we have a sister that is a private detective as well as an investigator, amen, and has changed her report card too, before. Say amen. Glory to Jesus, amen. They'll figure out that that's not really the way it's supposed to be. And I remember this time just like it was yesterday because we was in the old house and rubbish at this little brown thing table. And the people used to just sit on the table, you know, put everything on the table, books and everything. And so I remember she coming down from Baltimore to the house and she's living in Baltimore. And so, you know, she wanted to have a pep talk with me. It wasn't like a nice pep talk, amen, because when my sister gets frustrated, she always had a nice, you know. But I know how to get myself together, you know. I don't you know. I'm a big boy. Say amen. And so she said to me, do you want to be a failure? Do you want to be dumb just like the rest of the people around here? I remember it just like it was yesterday. Do you want to do that? Thank you, Valerie. No, you know, no peaches and cream, just straight rough. Rough, Valerie, like the, Ain't you know, that like Chicago, rough. Woo! Thank you. Just straight rough. Amen. I remember that. You remember that time of glory? I almost didn't graduate. Almost didn't graduate because, like, you know, you get to start smelling yourself. I couldn't say that back then, glory, because when you're in it, you can't say you smell it yourself. You gotta hide yourself. Glory! Say amen. Thank you, bitches. Thank you, child. Child was there when we smelled that. So, thank you, too. That's my buddy. And so, what she said to me is that, do you want to be a failure? Do you want to be like the rest of these losers? That's what she said. She said a lot of other stuff, which I cannot disclose on this mic. Glory to Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Praise Jesus. But in other words, as you can see, I got myself together. Amen. I can't say I got myself together because I wanted to. Got myself together because I was scared. <laughs> Uh, my, uh, because I remember her telling me that she was going to come up to the school. You know, you don't want Tamari to come you, to the school. And so she gave me a pep talk then, so that I would not fail. Today the Lord is giving you a pep talk so that you will not fail. Whatever you do, you can't fail. Too close, show for us to fail. We've sacrificed everything to get here. There is no way we can fail. Other people used to say, I gave up the world. Gave it up. Like for real, I ain't chucking a job. Gave it up. Hello? Thank you, Jesus. Gave up the world. I cannot fail. This week, I want you to declare, repeat after me. I declare, I declare a time of complete victory in my life. Every situation that I am encountered with. I will have nothing less than victory. Repeat that one more time. Every situation that I am encountered with, I will have nothing less than victory. If it's not victory, I'm not going to have it. Nothing less than victory. I deserve victory. Tell yourself you deserve victory. You've been in enough, in enough fights already to you know, deserve victory. Say amen. Because God won't fail me. I myself can.